Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the NET Large Print Thin Line Art Edition from Thomas Nelson. Okay, a few months ago, I, sorry, I'm laughing a little bit because I've, I've now tried to record this part of the video several times and I keep messing up and making myself laugh. I dropped some stuff on the floor. I accidentally flipped off the camera when I was holding up a Bible. So I'm gonna try to get through this part and, and <laughs> I'm gonna keep this, why not, why not? So a few months ago, I reviewed the Abide Bible Journals. I love these things. Thomas Nelson, the way that they do Bible journals in general, I like them. For this one, they took the NET translation, they infused it with the Abide study system and one of the things I really loved about it is they use this beautiful artwork from an artist named Stephen Crotz. So every book of the Bible has this beautiful design that he made. It's kind of a, a woodcut inspired artwork. So this is like a lamb here for the book of Revelation. They, so they've taken this artwork from Stephen Crotz and they've put it in this new Bible. So this is basically a large print thin line Bible, but they've infused this artwork into it. So you can see that that image from Revelation is on the cover of this Bible, but at the beginning of every book of the Bible, that artwork is there. It's on its own page. They've also added book introductions, so it's slightly different from the previous editions of the NET large print thin line, but it's infused this art, so that's why they call it the art edition. I'm a big fan of this. I think Stephen did a great job with this artwork, and this Bible is really good. The, the leather soft editions from Thomas Nelson this year are very floppy. They're very well made. I love, this is blue. They made a blue one and a brown one. I mean, it just looks really sharp. And as far as just thin line Bibles go, I love a great thin line Bible. It doesn't have cross references. It doesn't have a concordance. It's just slim and easy to use. But this large print edition, the older I get, the more I love a slightly larger font. And so that plus the artwork, I just think this is a really solid Bible option. And definitely if you are interested in the NET translation, I've reviewed the, the NET full notes edition which is a great Bible. The, the notes from the NET translators are absolutely fantastic for, for Bible study, as well as a couple of other NET Bibles that I've done. So really great translation of the Bible. It's not as popular or as well known as some of the other translations of the Bible, but I really like it. It's definitely kind of a, a middle of the road. It, it's, it's got some of that formal and functional equivalence. It's kind of in the middle there, but also some, some great options from Thomas Nelson. For sure. So I'm glad I made it through this part. This is the NET large print thin line art edition from Thomas Nelson. Okay, I'll start with looking at the box real quick. NET Bible large print thin line art edition. So they do make a large print thin line NET Bible already, but this is just a new version. They're kind of expanding that line. There you see a little bit of the art cover. This is a great box. I love the, the imprint on the back there. It just looks really sharp. There's the information on the back with all the different features of this Bible. It is a clamshell box, so it opens up and really, really sharp. This is this is a nice box for a Bible that is, is not that expensive. So here's the Bible itself. There you can see the, the leather soft cover. It has a real shiny texture, but then it has this kind of wood cut. This is the one from Revelation, kind of imprinted there into the cover. Really, really nice. On the spine, you get a little cross design there. It says, Holy Bible, NET, Thomas Nelson. There is like an indention here on these little hubs there. Really cool. They did a good job with this. There's a blue one. There's a brown one. It's got a glossy feel, but it's very, they got kind of a good sturdy feel to it. It also has like a softness in there. It is a paste down liner, but really sharp. It comes with two ribbons. I mean, it feels good. It opens really flat. It has its own binding. It looks like really, really great. I mean, it's a cool Bible. So as far as size goes, this Bible is six and a quarter inches wide and it's nine and a quarter inches tall and it's only about one and a quarter inches thick. So let's open it up here. You do get a presentation page at the beginning, uh, title page here from Thomas Nelson and the NET. I really like the NET translation and I think it's really great to read. I have that NET full notes Bible, which is really awesome as well as a couple of other editions that I like a lot. So there's the copyright page. You see this was printed in South Korea and uh, information there about the NET. Then you get the contents. This is a pretty simple, straightforward Bible and I like that about it. I'll note to the reader from the translation committee, features of this Bible in particular, all the information about the translation team, um, and then you get into the Old Testament. So each book of the Bible 
is going to start with, here's Genesis. So this is the piece of art from Stephen Cross. So every book is going to have a, a, a picture like that, the artwork, it's the same artwork that was used in those Bible journals. And then there's going to be a book introduction here. Most of them are one page, and they all talk about a quick survey of the book of the Bible, and then it says the Christ of Genesis. So it's this idea of how does Jesus play into this book, and what are the themes you see there. Um, I'm just going to open this up a little bit. So just while I'm going through here, I'll show you Second Chronicles. Oh, I skipped a page. So Second Chronicles is going to have this little picture right there, the survey, the Christ of Second Chronicles, and then you get into the text itself. So it's a two-column text. It is a ten and a half point font. This is the NET Comfort Print font. It looks great. It feels great. Um, I really, I really think that this is one of the better. Uh, comfort print fonts is just so crisp and clean and the whole idea of the comfort print fonts is they're designed to make reading the Bible very smooth and easy and comfortable and so bring this up a little bit for you pretty simple and straightforward ten and a half point font there's no cross references on the page there are a few textual notes but not not a ton paragraph format I mean simple straightforward there's no color on the page it's very very clean it's very um there you see right here some textual notes on the outside. These are called the concise NET notes. If you want to check out my review of the NET Full Notes Bible, you can see what it looks like to have the full set of translator notes, which is one of my favorite things about this translation. It's really, really well done. It's kind of a fun reading experience. You see when we get to books of poetry, you do go to a verse-by-verse -verse format. This also looks good. Easy to read. So it's, it's pretty simple, but it's large print. It's 10 and a half point font, so you're not going to struggle to to read this and things like that. I just think it looks looks really good. It, it stays the same in the New Testament. It's not red letter. It's a black letter text Bible. I just saw another. Oh, I got to the, the well, I'm here. I'm just going to keep showing you these things. So there's Jonah. Great. That's great. Turn a couple more pages and we'll see Micah. Love that. Think about Micah 6, 8 and, and that, that passage where God's kind of putting the people of Israel on trial and you have this image. That's so great. Um, New Testament looks good. Philemon. I could do this with literally every book of this Bible, and you'd be like, oh, that's really cool artwork. So it's got that in there. You get to the end of the Bible. You go to uh, Revelation. You do get a 365-day reading plan back here. A couple blank sheets of paper. And then Thomas Nelson, glossy. Bible maps back here in the back. No concordance, no cross-references. This is not a reference Bible. It's more of an on-the-go, easy to read. It's got this artistic feel to it for the NET. I, I, I think this is a really good, if you are an NET fan or you want to check it out, this is a great option and I think it's a really good Bible to, to take with you on the go or to read when you're not really diving in and doing deep study but you just want to read the Bible. I, I, I really like this for that and overall the the art edition feel with these woodcut inspired images and it also adds in the book introductions which is a new addition to this bible there's some cool things about this and um, so it's a good translation it's a great bible really solid and uh, it's, it's affordable so it's great so there you have it that's the net large print thin line art edition bible from Thomas Nelson. Great Bible, right? It's it's simple, but it has that artwork in there, which is really cool. It's really well made. And this, y'all, you can get this Bible for about 30 bucks online. So I'll put some links in the description to where you can purchase a copy of this. I'll also put a full write-up at BibleReviewBlog.com. And I would love to know what you think. So leave me a comment and let me know. Visit us on social media, Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community out there for Bible Review Blog. And before you go, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I have more great reviews just like this, unboxing videos, lots of fun. Bible content on my channel. So I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.